Hi everyone. So what I have today is actually a, an ephemera kit that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, this kit was about nine dollars, and shipping I think it was like three, around three something. And so um, it took only about maybe four days to get to me, I think. Because I think I purchased this on Friday and today is a Tuesday. So I got it in the mail today. And basically this kit comes with 100 pieces of just various things. I've already, it was a, you know, obviously strung up. This was the tag that was on it. This is actually like some vintage photo that the seller used. And here is the seller. Let me hold it up really close so you can see she has an IG um, account, Big B1 or L, Big B L 1 T Z, I think. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, this, it was tied to this. So I've already gone ahead and looked through a little bit of it. So I just wanted to go ahead and um, show what I got. So as I said, this came with 100 pieces of various papers, um, you know, magazines, um, pages, like book pages, uh, from recipe books, whatever. Um, I mean, it's just a lot and they're all vintage pieces. So as you can see here, so I think some are from National Geographic. We've got a page from a, um, cookbook another vintage magazine um, page not sure where it came from pages from an old book I like the way that the paper looks um, got this here's another page out of a book this looks actually like it's from a yearbook just 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 judging from the pictures you know I never thought to like pick up maybe some old yearbooks because um, those would be really interesting uh, pictures this obviously is from a vintage magazine. I like this 1963, the 60s look. Dictionary page. Don't need to pick any of those up because I have plenty of old dictionaries I got from the book sale like two or three years ago. This is really cute. I forgot what book this is from. I've seen this before with the seal. Um, another bedroom, a house in New Orleans. From the 1800s to 1850. That's really interesting. I think my next dictionary purchases, um, when we have, whenever they're going to have the book sale, will be like foreign language dictionaries. I should have picked up some. I saw some Japanese ones and Russian ones last time, and I just I don't know why I didn't think about picking them up. And I could have got those on the last day of the book sale because this is the library book sale, by the way, um, because I could have got stuff them in the paper you know the brown paper bag they give you and just bought whatever you can fit into the bag fill it up to the brim five bucks so yeah next time I'm gonna do that let's see here horse and carpentry interesting and somebody had filled it out glossary for the working gardener this looks like it's for baking face sculpting this is interesting. It's talking about how to create high cheekbones and give yourself a temporary facelift. facelift. Now this is also from a recipe book, picture dictionary. This, um, it's got to be from like a, what do you call it? Like a travel um, brochure or something like that, maybe book. Ooh, spinach soup. So this kit would obviously be good for like a junk journal. Now, I only purchased it because I was curious. Oh, I like this, secretarial typing. Did you guys take typing class in high school? I did, I'm definitely showing my age here. Um, I did get an old um, typing book from the Goodwill, which will be interesting to go through again. I need to show this to my sister. She is a dental assistant. She might find this interesting. It's definitely old. I'll have to ask her what that's all about. Uh, 76 ways to get organized for Christmas. Huh. 
some more of the um, recipe. It's part of another dictionary book page. Oh, I like this um, illustration. So we have <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely this has got to be from like a yearbook. Got some illustrations here architectural design. Ooh. Microwaving tips. Funny. Some more big pieces from um, probably like an art book. This is interesting. That's what I like about these things. You get some really interesting pages. Okay. What's this? And drilling through rocks to pools of oil below. Hmm. I mean, this is a lot. 100 pages. I thought this was a pretty good bargain compared to some of the other ones that I've, seen, I've been seeing like on Etsy. Um, I mean, it's a pretty eclectic, I guess, lot of pages. Comics is Dune, Dunesbury. Okay, pretty old. Oh, good. There's like at least one musical sheet in here. <laughs> wow. A jellied holiday nog. Cranberry orange sauce. Hmm. Okay. Restaurants as seen by painters. Oh, good more musical pieces. Um, it just keeps going, doesn't it? Oh, good. Here we go. Ooh, vintage um, pattern. Not. I like that. Why, in, why don't you give your wife Hawaii for Christmas? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. The big stores. Hmm. Look at that. 19... 1989. Okay, this is from a 1989 issue of National Geographic. Although this is... Looks like it's the Arc de Triumph. Here we go, yep, France. And that is it. Just a really quick flip through of all of the stuff that I got in this lot. Like I said, it's on um, Facebook Marketplace. I'll try to link to it um, down below if you're interested. Um, like I said, seller shipped it literally same day and I got a lot here. You know, so if I want to go ahead and work on a junk journal, I've got plenty to work with for signatures. So yeah, that is the haul for today. All right. I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye. <laughs>